Hello, friends. Lord Verminard back again in my garage. Don't mind me. I'm just painting up these wheels here. I was trying to go for like the, the chrome or not chrome. Yeah. The uh, like the bronze look. And I don't think I quite hit it. <laughs> That's pretty good in the shadow, but not so good like that. Well, oh well, that's what color they are now. So, yeah, I also I also realized that I can't uh, can't paint these guys because they're chrome, which sucks because I hate chrome wheels and it doesn't look like a rally wheel at all if they're freaking chrome. So I might try to find a different wheel. I don't really like any of the ones they have down at this shop. I I think there's another performance parts shop like in the uh, yeah, uh, in the main town, maybe. Um, so maybe we'll investigate that. So, so what are we gonna do today? Um, I think we need to get this this thing like finished up for today, don't you? Uh, I think I am gonna keep this blue color because I really like it. Um, zero one zero six nine E. Okay, zero one zero six nine E. Zero, the damn hell. Zero one zero six nine. Nice E. There we go. Uh, well, four, four of them. That sounds good. All right. So let's. Uh, I'll just. I'll put the tailgate on later. I guess. Or the the hatch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I kind of was thinking about like trying to, trying to do some, some like different paint effects, but it's so hard to do in this game because you don't really have a whole lot of control and you can use the paint pen, but those suck too. So I think I'm just going to basically spray the whole thing, this color and maybe like do the hood a different color or, or something like that. I don't know. Have not decided. I mean, to be to be fair, the oh, the uh, the appearance of the car isn't that important to me. It's kind of like kind of like that in real life. Like for the most part, anyway, I don't much care what a car looks like as long as it performs the way I want it to, or you know, as long as it drives the way I want it to, or the way that I expect it to, or you know what I mean. Obviously not. It doesn't make any sense for every car that you have to be a super crazy performance car. That's just, that's just silly. Look at that. Is that rust or is that, um, dirtiness? I don't like it. If I can fix it somehow. Yeah, that looks like shite. <laughs> All right, we'll see if I can, see if I can do something about that. Anyways, as I was saying, like, you know, car, you have to have real, realistic expectations with cars, right? Uh, and I also don't think it makes sense to, that your daily driver is some crazy supercar with a million horsepower and, you know, I, like, it just, it's not very realistic to expect a car that you drive every day to be like that, you know? And likewise, I don't expect my my eco-friendly grocery getter to have a million horsepower, you know? We're in this era right now with, with cars, um, and it's kind of, it kind of makes me irritated. But, like, they, the manufacturers are, are expecting, uh, and, and I don't know, maybe the consumers are asking it. I, I don't really know, because I'm not, a consumer of new vehicles. I don't know if I ever will be, but um, yeah, I feel like people are asking too much of cars. So now that, wow, okay, pick that up. Um, you know, people are buying a car to expect it to do everything. So we have like these SUVs that have, you know, 400 horsepower driving around that um, I don't feel like they have any business having that much horsepower because it's supposed to be a uh, you know, a family car and a, a uh, 
you know, convenient, you know? Uh, so, I don't know. Like, it, it, at some point, you kind of have to, like, ask yourself, you know, where does it end? You know, what? And, and then that only drives the price of cars up, too, you know? Uh, it's not a, not a question I'm qualified to answer, I guess. <laughs> it's just it's interesting to talk about and to think about. Now, is that not going to come... Oh, there we got it. Okay. I was worried there. What about this side? This side looks like... It's like crap. Wait, I can... Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, well... I need another can! Probably two more, because I have to... I still have to paint the... The, uh... The what you call it? Tailgate. Hatch. Whatever. Ugh, that's gonna bug me. It's not coming. It's not it's not working. <laughs> well, I can get this. This is easy. This thing's not wanting to paint. There's like some angles that it's just like, nope, not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm digging this color though. This is uh this is really working for me. I've never had a blue car before. Um, but it, this really reminds me of um I don't remember the color actually. When the Mark IV Volkswagen R32 first came out, this was like one of the colors you could get it with. It looked looked almost exactly like this, actually. And it was a really nice color. Like the first time I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, that's that's doing it for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So that means I have to grind away on this stupid door some more, because it still has... still has roost on it. So, look, well, guess we'll use my new, uh... my new unit here. Uh... If I can figure out how to take the nozzle. There we go. Alright, we'll just... Hit it like that. Hit that like that. Are you happy now? Let's get uh, let's get some more paint and see if it likes that. You know, I don't, you know, there's no, there's no car company that's immune to that either. Like, they all do it. Um, you know, I've, I've been kind of pissed at Volkswagen for a long time just because they've made the GTI like this, this multi-purpose sort of like mini SUV thing. Like, I don't know. It's just not the, it's not the hot hatch of, of your, <laughs> and it's like, I, I get it. You know, everything has to change eventually, but I still feel like they could, they could make the GTI a GTI still, you know, they, they've done it in Europe, like with the, the up, um, and the up GTI. I mean, those cars are just freaking awesome. Like, that's what I want. It's a, it's like kind of like a no compromises hot hatch, just like the GTI used to be, but it was still practical and it's still relatively comfortable. It doesn't need to be this giant thing with five doors that can tow a boat and, you know, and go, you know, 200 miles an hour on the Autobahn, like, that's not what it was for. So, I don't know. I, I kind of tend to rant about stuff like that, but it just, it just kind of bugs me, you know? And like I said, that just drives... Oh, man! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> I needed, like, one more squirt. Oh, well. Here, let's... One more can, then I'll have a little extra, I guess, if I have to 
fix any more screw ups. <laughs> That's fine. Here, pick this up. I think I missed a few spots still. Okay, that looks good enough. And let's not throw that away. Let's keep that for now. Um, so let's stick this guy back on. No, I did miss a spot. Well, no, I can't tell. The you know, lighting in this game is so just wonky sometimes. Okay. Um, wow, that looks like, like, butt. Okay. Why? Okay, you're gonna make me tighten it this way? That's fine, I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> tighten, tighten the stupid, okay. Jeez. All right. So one thing I wanted to try. Turn off my head. I said turn off my turn off my headlight there. Um, I wanted to grab Mr. Hammer and see if I can uh, whack any of those that tailgate back into shape any more than it is. I think it's. I mean, it looks pretty good, but these hinges look kind of funny. And actually, you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's just the reflection. You know, this thing was pretty banged up, but I think it looks it looks pretty straight now. I think we got most of it, uh... I think we got most of it in order. Yeah. It's looking, uh, looking hot. Okay, so what do we do now? Um... I guess we can stick these panels back in here. Uh... We go. And there we go. Now, is there anything that covers this bit? I feel like there is. Um and my my taillights are good too, right? Yeah, I can I can leave those babies. Um so what else we need? We need uh I think I'm gonna leave most of the interior bear. I don't think I'm going to put a back seat in it because rally car. Um, let's investigate what kind of parts we've got here. So we look at the body. We need mirror one, mirror one chromed. Front and rear bumpers, which I probably won't use. Um, Roof rack. Yeah, we're not going to do a roof rack. Uh, accessorize. It's weird that it includes the mirrors and the accessories as well. That's kind of odd. Sun visors, trailer hook. We don't need any of that. We do need probably wiper motors and wiper blades. Not chrome. Looks like there's only... No, there is two taillights. What's the difference? I hate how you can't see the... Blinker front left and right. Those look clear to me. Um, I think I want... Black headlights? Yeah, you can get amber and clear ones. So let's buy... Two of those. Let's buy... Two of those. Uh, I wonder which taillight I have. Some these look kind of look like they're like tinted, maybe or something. Let me buy one of those and just see what it looks like. Um, I know we need this. We need two of those and two of those. Uh, I think we need both mirrors, right? We'll grab both of those. I have the rear view mirror already. Speed of digit. 
Um, and what else I need too is an exhaust. Uh, yeah, somebody said um, that I didn't put the performance carburetor on there. I don't think you can use the performance carburetor with the turbo. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, I might science that today just for fun. I don't think I have to worry about running out of money right now. Exhaust R. Does R stand for race? <laughs> R on everything. Exhaust R pipe. So the header turbo is already on there. Uh, exhaust L pipe. Uh, so is that like if you have like a V8 in it or something? Uh, what if we if we switch this to the four banger? It was just a regular exhaust. It doesn't give me any other option. So I wonder... What if I buy that and it's just a side exit exhaust for the four cylinder with a turbo? Does that work? It looks like it would be in about the same place. Um, let's science that. Boink. Doesn't look like it wants to work. Oh my god, could you stand up? <laughs> what are you doing? Man, that's bummer. It looks like that would fit. Ah, uh, poop. Wait, was that a was that a check mark? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, that sucks. Yeah, man, that would that would fit like right there. Man, okay, well, I guess we're not doing that. I guess we're putting the regular boring ass exhaust on there instead. Where is it? Uh, I four. Yeah, man, that sucks. Oh well. I love how the just the side exit pipe was like two hundred bucks, and the entire full exhaust was less than that. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, that, well, you know, that bolt's on there. Okay, well. Hopefully I'm not sacrificing any performance doing, doing that. There we go. It's on. Does not look very exciting, I have to admit. But, you know. What you gotta do sometimes. Okay, here's something else I wanted to science. This is probably not going to work. Um, but I'm going to look. What have we got here? I, I wanted to see if one of these flares worked. They, I'm sure they probably don't, but... Yeah, man, that's too bad. How awesome would that be if that worked? Because I kind of want, like... Yeah, there's not the right size. It's not the right kind of wheel opening, you know? Oh, well. <laughs> so that means the front, the front spoiler and all that stuff probably wouldn't work either, or, or the roll cage. Dang, the roll cage is 897 bones. Yeah, that's way too much money for me to just to just whiz on. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get uh let's get these boring old headlights out of here.
and this busted ass one. Okay, and the marker light. Ah, oh, this post, this lift is kind of in the way, in the way here. Stand up. Where's the other? Oh my god. Nope. There we go. That's what you wanted to do. Oh god. Close it on my head. Don't do that. Alright, I only see one screw for that. Um. Oh god, I'm stuck. Alright, I'm just gonna bend both of these, because who cares? Um, I'll grab one of the new marker lights and see if I can figure out how they go in. All right, there's two tabs. And of course, I grabbed the wrong one. <clears throat> okay, there's that. Grab this. We will tighten. All right, so the other one's hidden from the wonky body panel. So it should be... Right there. All right. There we go. Throw this in the bin. And... If I could ever pick the thing up. It goes there. Oh, look, I can see the screw this time. <laughs> sure. Okay. Whatever. Oh God, this this turbo setup is just makes me cringe. Ugh. Don't like that. All right. <clears throat> Black headlight. Oh, don't tell me they don't fit. Son of a monkey. Really? All right, Neve, body. So we got the rally headlights, but those mount like on the bumper, right? Mm, I need a grill too. It doesn't even give me a, another We got these big honking things, which are ugly. I want to buy one of these, even though I don't think it's going to let me install it uh, in the spot where the regular headlights go. It does not. Even though it would clearly fit there. Crap. All right, let's keep these. Um, let me grab the grill. It'd be nice if I could paint this grill like a darker black, but I don't think I can. Also, what holds the grill on? Anything? Or does it just kind of magically snap in there? I don't see any bolts or screws or anything, so I guess it just stays in there? Yeah, I can't take it out, so yeah, it must be, must be how it goes in there. So why can't I use... It says Neve. But why won't they... Why won't they go in there? What a rip, man. I don't like that. <sighs> Alright. Well, I guess I'll just get... Two of these dumb old boring headlights. I mean, I, see, I can see that they're clearly different, right? They have a different housing and stuff, but... I don't know why it would say that they're for this car and they don't fit. Uh, how did I grab... Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay. Okay, I should have taken the 
Okay, I'll just take the grill off. Okay, so there's really nothing that holds this grill on. I kind of find that hard to believe. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, I think that's it. Um, Mr. Screwdriver, where'd you go? There you are. Yoink. Yes, there they are. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. I guess that's it. And so I can't mount these anywhere because I don't have a bumper. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I'm going to... I think the bumper would look silly on this. I'm not going to do it. Even though, like, for to be a rally car, I would have to have, like, additional lights, right? But... Well, not necessarily always, but... It would be cool if it did. Alright, I wasted, like, $4,000 on lights that don't fit, so that's cool. Um, but at least I got the markers on here. Close that. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Don't hate it. Do not hate it. Um, okay, oh yeah, so this um, this taillight thing. So is this taillight different? It is most definitely different. <clears throat> I guess it's tinted? Oh yeah, we're using those. That's cool. Alright. Um... Should be just a screwdriver. Oh my god, I can't see. Okay. That was a lucky guess, huh? <laughs> All right. Just gonna throw these in the trash because who cares? Hopefully I didn't just throw the one that I just bought in there. I don't think I did. There we go. And this is my new cool one. Yep, okay. All right, now we need a left one. And which one was that? Uh... right here, this guy. Alright. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Um, might as well get the rest of these accessorized in here. Uh, this is a right mirror. That goes right on the dough. Here, I'll... Oi, back on there. Oh my god, just put it on the freaking door. Alright, and this side... Ah, where'd you go? Right here. Excellent. And my rear view, which is in here. Oh, man, I already had a mirror. Oh, well. <laughs> Are we going to go without a headliner? I think we probably should. Because because race car. Um, I do think maybe door panels, though. I want to be a little bit classy. I, mean, I want to be like, you know, what Audi did. I'm sorry, taking a drink of my lovely iced coffee. Um, do what Audi did where some of the uh, Quattro rally cars had door panels. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> um, okay, we need to get all this nonsense in there too, I guess. Uh, I 
I have no idea how these go in. Oh, it, it already has wipers. Look at that. Just missing a blade on the uh, on the one side. Well, that was a wasted dough. Um, of course, I don't know if they work. Let me use some X-ray vision, and like, I don't see. Uh... Oh crap! Where the flipping heck is it? Oh, it's in here. Look at that. It doesn't look rusty to me, so it probably works. All right, well, just wasted more money. I could keep that for repair jobs, but most of the repair jobs are just, they don't pay for crap, so it's almost not worth doing it. Yeah, scapegoat, scapegoat just did a whole, pretty much a whole video on that. Um, Because people were complaining that you know, he only does the body jobs, right? And there's a reason, because like, you know, he even, he, he explained it perfectly. If we're doing a, a video series like that, we kind of have limited time um, to do the video, and so we don't want to spend the whole time doing piddly jobs that don't pay anything, even though it might be boring to not see anything different. Um, you know, we got to do the jobs that pay the most money, and he's exactly right, you know? like, he, And he did that one suspension job that was like basically rebuild the entire suspension of a wolf, which is not an easy task. And he said he probably could have done four or five paint jobs in that amount of time. And he also had to spend almost a thousand bucks on on uh, suspension parts. So, yeah, it's just not worth it from a time perspective. You know, if you're playing the game casually and you just want to get used to, like, doing all the jobs or whatever, then that's totally fine. But if you want to, like, start making bank, then you got to do you got to do the paint jobs and the body and the body jobs, because that's the only thing that's really going to be worthwhile. This thing is looking freaking sweet, I, I've got to say. Um, <clears throat> so I need to get another seat. Uh, so this is the uh, the right side sport seat. So I need a front left sport seat. I got that one out of the junkyard. For a reasonable price. Um... I've seen several of those sport seats in the junkyard. But I don't remember the last time I saw a left one that was the red color. Which does not match the blue at all, but... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be... What is that? Oh, I see that. Okay, let me fix it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so another question too. Do I want to paint the hood a different color? I might want to do that. I don't think there were any different kinds of hoods for this vehicle. We're still on Neve, right? Uh, we got a regular hood there. And... That is it. Bummer, man. Um... Yep, not seeing anything else. All right, so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. This okay, again. This probably won't work, but I've got the money to blow right now, so let's do it. Uh, so these almost have the same taillights too. They're similar. Um, did the did the lad coop have a? Hood scoop. Oh, it's a whole hood. Shit. I was hoping they just had a scoop you could stick on there. I wonder, maybe the Chad does? The blower hood, hood scooped. Nope. Damn it. Alright, well. <clears throat> guess we're stuck with what it is. All right, so door panels and a uh, front left sport seat. So, man, I am like in love with how this thing looks right now. <laughs> it's it's freaking sweet. <laughs> I wish I could get a spoiler on the front, like a an air dam or something. 
Um, and some flares. Yeah, some flares would be really cool, but I don't know if I'm going to get that. But, oh yeah, that is really doing it for me. Okay, so let's go to the junkyard. I don't think I need any of that crap, but let's just go. Uh, taxi to the JY here. And, whoop. Good time to have a drink. Oh, yeah, that's good. How are you guys doing anyway, by the way? Um, I hope everybody's doing great. I've been busy today. Uh, we had a soccer game this morning. Uh, and it was, again, a massacre. <laughs> our, our poor kids are, are not good, but that's okay. Um, then I came home and reconfigured the chicken coop a little because we have, uh, one of the girls was getting a little old and she has trouble getting up on the roost. So I took the roost down and, um, built a new one with a wider perch lower to the ground. So hopefully she'll be able to get up there easier. Ray is not happy to see you. Uh, why do you refer to yourself in the third person, you freaking weirdo? What the hell is that? Oh, motorcycle shock absorber. <laughs> okay. It looked very weird, really weird there for a minute. Okay, um, another thing I don't have is... I don't think I have any of the door glass for the Neve. I have the... Wait a minute. Yeah, I do. I have the front... What is that? The front left one? Excuse me. Um, this is not looking good. I don't think there's anything here. Uh, what is all this crap? Is there anything here I need? I don't have a steering column in it yet. I suppose I wouldn't turn down a, uh, a Neve steering column. Uh, I need a steering wheel, too. Wolf door panel. The Chad Hood scoop, sco scooped hood, which looks pretty freaking sweet, but I can't get one of those. Because I'm not special, apparently. Look at this car. This thing is mostly complete. It even kind of has an engine in it. Huh. How much you want for this? How much you want for this sucker? Forty-six hundred bucks. Hmm. It's more than I got right now. What is this crap? Uh, that's a Jesse headliner. Diesel fuel pump. Oh, look at here. There's an Eve. Um. Just has plain old seats in it. Does not have a steering column. Uh, it's got a window winder. I wonder if it works. Wait, does it have glass too? No, it doesn't have glass. What about this side? Man, I gotta take it out. Well, I could put a rear seat in it if I wanted to. <laughs> Don't want to do that. I kind of like the color of these door panels. I wish I could... Uh... Oh, you know what? I got my pry tool with me, don't I? Let me just grab this and let me... Let me grab, uh... Oh, man, it's not in good shape. Ugh, that sucks. Alright, well... You can go back in there. We'll take... Mr. Wrench out. No window winder, and no glass. Okay. What about this side? Anybody want to take any bets? Is the winder good or not? It's not good. How about that? Okay. <laughs> hey, look at that. 
V8 block. <sighs> okay, well. And I don't see a single sport seat in the house. I don't see a single thing I can use. Well, that blows. That blows and sucks. <laughs> There's a 1.8 block. Look at that. I could have used that. I had to buy a new one. Oh, well. Let's see. Is there any other crap in here? Of course, that's a wolf one. I don't think there's anything else here I can use. Um, I was contemplating maybe taking this steering wheel. But I don't know if it'll fit. Guess I'll try it. Hopefully I can stick it in my backpack. I don't know. Uh, can't use any of that. I don't see any sports seats anywhere. Yeah, I think this is kind of a bust. Well, that sucks. Um, here, let's... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Put that down. Put, pick that up. Whoa. All right, let's see if I can get this in there. Oh, sweet. Okay. Taxi to house. There we go. Um, I still don't have a steering column. Oh, wait, I do have one. And I have the racing wheel already. Okay. Well, that was dumb. Here, I want to put this on the shelf because it's cool. Boink. Okay. So we have a front right window glass so I need the regulators and I need the front left window I need all the glass um, can I buy the, the body panels in here do I have to go to that stupid shop um, interior here we go oh chat I was gonna say well those look cool <laughs> Now, yeah, now we have these boring ones. All right, so we have the we have the wheels, the column, we have the steering wheel. If the cluster the dash is fine. Front left or front light door panels are black. Okay, I'm okay with that. That's cool. Oh, and these are black too. All right, those will match better. Give me. And the one for the rear. Okay. Oh, I can pick the seat colors in the sport seats. I don't like the red. I think I want the black one. All right, well, that's what we're doing. Oh, this is a digital speedometer. That's what it is. Okay. I was confused by that. All right, this is good. I think, um, oh, crap. We need the, uh, the window winders. And the rest of the glass, too. Uh, where is that? Is that... Here we go. There's that and that. And we need... A front left glass. Uh, so the glass isn't a body part? Okay. Oh, windows, its own section. Ha! Ah, okay. Um, let's see. Front left. W rear left. Rear right. And the hatch glass. It does have a windshield, right? Uh, looks like it does. Okay, cool. All right. We got a lot to do here with this. Um... You got these wicked cool seats. They kind of look like, uh, well, I guess sort of look like Recaro's. All right, front left. 
That was not the front left. Oh my god. Pick it up. There we go. Okay. Um, front right. Whoop. Front right glass is right here. I like that these don't have those stupid corner windows. <laughs> Not that, you know, cars that have those are stupid, but I, I like how they look, but it's, uh, they're working on their pain in the butt. Especially in this game. All right, front left glass, which is this guy. Look at that, bolts just disappeared. <laughs> All right, rear right glass, which I think I have to use the pry tool to put in. Or not. Cool. All right. Wait, do those bolt in? Nope. All right, cool. Rear left. There we go. Uh, hatch glass. There it is. All right, door panel. Sweet. I'm okay with that. That actually looks like a motorsports kind of panel anyway, because it's just a single piece. And uh, with just the, you know, the stuff you need on there. I kind of dig that. All right. I have to probably make some door panels for my Scirocco. The ones that, the stock ones are a little bit haggard. And I was kind of thinking about doing something like that. Maybe taking like a piece of carbon fiber and, and uh, trimming it to the right size and figuring out a way to stick it in there. Yeah. All right, Mr. Pry Tool. And I got to take these other panels out. Whoops. Well, this is fine, but it isn't going to match the... Uh, is it going to match my decor here? All right, and I'll stick that one back in there. And that there. Okay, that looks way better. Yes, okay. All right. Um, let's do these here seats. Whoops. I'm not sure why I can't see those bolts. Very odd. I can see him when I installed it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll keep this seat for a rainy day. And uh, put these in. Which one is this? Front or right? All right, this will be the co-driver seat. Typically, the co-driver seat looks different than the driver's seat in a rally car, but... Um, You know, I'm not going to be uh, too choosy. All right, that's the wrong... Here it is. I don't know what that bolt's for. <laughs> Probably the transmission crossmember, I guess? I don't know. All right, so there's not a panel that covers this stuff up, I guess. I would have thought that there would have been. All right, what do we got left? It's looking like a looking like a real car now. I think um, I think I should go and put gas in her. That means driving it though, which is scurry. Uh. All right, well we got to do it, you know. Um. Here, let's do a quick save. Uh, 
Ah, yes. This is good. This is real good. Okay, let's fire it up. Oh man, it's too quiet. <laughs> All right. Uh, view here. Okay. No, I don't have to do anything to adjust or to, um, to go into four wheel drive, right? It just does it. Oh my God. Okay. It's fast. Okay, all right. Well, we're doing this. Uh, seems a little bouncy. I'm a little disappointed with the suspension. I feel like it should have been a little bit tighter than that. Oh god, don't hit that sign. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we made it here. <laughs> a little nerve-wracking, but we did it. Uh, take Mr. Fuel Pistol and... Fill up the inside of the car with fuel. <laughs> Is that, is that done? I really can't. I can't tell. How much is that? It's 67 bucks worth of fuel. That's probably enough, right? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, um, we have a car now. Um, that means I'm going to have to, like, do the races eventually. It definitely looks good. Um, I don't know if it's going to perform as well as I was hoping it would. I need to, um... Where do you actually go for the junkyard race? I'm not sure. All right. All right, so if we do mouse steer now. Do we actually have to get out and read the signs to do the junkyard race? I think that's what you have to do. Um, wow, it definitely accelerates fast, but then it starts to kind of trail off pretty fast. All right, so let's go and look at this sign and see if this like activates the race. I, I, I really don't know. Press enter. Oh god, get to the junkyard by any road. Alright, I think I know how to get there. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, we're gonna do this, guys. Um There's there's other cars? 
I don't I don't like racing on a street when there's other cars. That seems like a bad idea. Uh all right, we're mouse steering. Um wait, I gotta turn I gotta do this. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Oh god, this is not starting off well. <laughs> There's cars. She understeers a bit. Okay. Oh, there's so much traffic. We should not be doing this with this much traffic. I can't see the tachometer. The brakes aren't great. <laughs> Oh God, we're we're, take, we're catching air. Okay, okay. I don't know how fast I'm going, but it seems like it's fast enough. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. We're doing all right here. road oh god oh god <laughs> yeah the off-road physics are a little a little dodgy okay we're doing all right oh god where's the finish line was that the finish line I stalled it Something tells me that wasn't the finish line. I thought that little table there was the finish line. Oh god! Um... So, I'm at the junkyard, but how come the race didn't finish? Is there, is there something I'm missing here? I think something went wrong. <laughs> I think I think this was supposed to be the end, and it's it's not. Um... Yeah, so I guess I'll just abandon the race. So it gave me a time to beat one twenty, but for some reason there was no finish line here. Even though there's this there's random table here that I can't pick up, which I'm assuming is like where you're supposed to, you know, check in check your scores or whatever. Um, okay, well, I didn't damage my car, so there, at least there's that. Did I miss a spot? I missed a paint spot. Look at that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to fix that when I get home. Uh, okay, well, I call that a successful shakedown. <laughs> Even though I didn't complete the race. Uh. All right, that's good that it gives me um, like times to beat, because otherwise I didn't really I wouldn't really know what I'm like racing for, you know. This thing accelerates pretty well, but then it seems to kind of run out of juice pretty quick. Although I don't think it really needs more power because the brakes are not great, and. Um, And it doesn't exactly handle well, but then again, it's this game we're talking about here, which, you know, we know the handling is not great to begin with. I cannot remember how to get to my house from here. Uh, 
Oh, you hear the blow-off valve? <laughs> yeah, the handling, it's very bouncy. Alright, I think I can get back to my house from here. Yeah, it's look at that, look at that balance, man. That's not great. It's definitely got some juice though. Oh no, don't hit the whew. Oh my god, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> it doesn't really drift either, it just it just kind of goes. Um, let's see, I don't think that's the road that I take, but I think it's this one, right? Yeah, this is it. Oh god, we made it home. Can you believe it? Whoop, I almost can't believe it. here turn it off before I kill myself um did I how much fuel did I use okay you can't you can't see like half of the gauges okay it looks like it's full of fuel all right well I guess that was a su successful shakedown is in we didn't crash the car um, I need to figure out, like, the races, like, how the, they are supposed to, um, like, the finish line. Like, that's the first time I've ever done a race in this game, so I don't know, um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I would assume that it said race to the junkyard by any way necessary means you just go to the junkyard, right? Like, there wasn't any other checkpoints to, to go to, right? Okay, so yeah, it's not the fastest car. But then again, rally cars usually aren't the fastest cars. Um, however, it does not handle very well. There, finally fixed that spot. That was driving me nuts. <laughs> like the whole way home, I was thinking about that. Okay. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess another thing I can try too is is putting the the quote air quotes rally tires on it. These guys, uh, I would I would imagine that would make the handling worse um, because I'd also have to like lift it up a bit. Uh, and you know I was thinking it might need to be lower for a tarmac rally, but um, the way it was bouncing around, I feel like I feel like where it's at right now is probably fine. Well. That was pretty cool. I think what I should do is close off the uh, close out the video with doing a couple of jobs, um, getting some more money because then we got to figure out um, what we're gonna do next. So just out of curiosity, ten grand. So that's not bad. The overall condition is not great, which I don't really understand why. Maybe because it's missing some interior parts and the bumpers and stuff. But uh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so let's get some work here. See if we can do a couple of jobs. See, another job that, that pays pretty well here is the transmissions job. So let's let's take this one. 1500 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, what do we got here? We got a Jesse. So what I can do... Uh, looks like it's a manuel. Let's see if I can... Uh, so if I can just drive it all over to the lift here. Uh, where's the... There we go. 
I'll do this. And the e-rake is on. Okay. Back her up. Nice and easy like. Yeah, she's having some difficulties getting going here. So my car might be in the way. Uh, turn it off. And bash the, pat the customer's door right against the pillar there. There, you go in there. Okay. Hey, actually, that's not a bad, uh, wasn't a bad setup on the lift there. That's pretty good. That's one thing that I will always be thankful for when I worked at Volkswagen, uh, was using the lifts after hours, like working, you know, just asking the tech, asking one of the techs, like, hey, can I use your bay after work, you know? Um, man, that was, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> if I needed to get something done, holy crap. I took advantage of that and made sure to, make sure to give the guys a little extra something or bring in donuts for them or something the next day, because, um, yeah. That definitely will save you a bunch of time if you have to do a crappy job. Uh, oh, I feel like there's not as much, there's not as many bolts on here as there should be. <laughs> I think that's all those, and we'll grab those. And for some reason, I can't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think the car is balancing on my head right now. Yeah, it looks like it. That's not what you want. Let's bump it up a little bit more. There we go. All right, can I take this? I feel like that's everything. What did I miss? Oh, there's a... Uh, the wiring thing, right? Um, should have started up here. Oh, no, that's on the block. Okay. Oh, the, it's the starter. It's the starter wiring. Yikes, I moved the car back significantly. <laughs> I just loosened something. What was that? Not the right part, apparently. Okay. There we go. There it is. There it all comes out. All right. So gearbox four. Chad, Lad, Lad Coop, Neve, Neve Bart, Jesse Wolf. Okay. What about the, um, what about all this nonsense? Uh, I cannot see the clutch. So let's yank that off too. Damn it. There, I got it. Uh, what the hell am I loosening? That's not good. <laughs> oh my god. 
I don't understand why I can't I can't see the flywheel no matter how I get to it here. Oh, there it is. And of course, after all that, the clutch is good. Somehow loosened a bunch of the flywheel bolts from from outside the pressure plate. That that's a neat trick. All right. Um. So I guess the first thing we need is the transmission. So this is a four speeder. So let's grab uh, Jesse V8. Gearbox 5, Gearbox 4 automatic. Um, am I dumb? What am I missing here? Oh, for God's sakes. All right, so it's got to be a chat or something then, right? Oh, my God. Why can't I find it? Gearbox 5, Gearbox 4, automatic. It's not an automatic, though. It's a manual. Gearbox 4. Is that the right... That doesn't look like the right part. Gearbox 5 automatic. Gearbox 4 automatic. Gearbox 5. We're crying out loud. Gearbox 4 automatic. It's not... It just said Gearbox 4. There it is, right here. Hopefully that's right, because I don't have enough money to buy anything else. Yeah, so V8, V8 V8 and I6. So it's an automatic. No. Manual. Alright, this is the right one. Oh, that's what's getting put in there. <laughs> Where's my mother flipping wrench? There it is. Okay. Uh so first we gotta put the clutch back in, which is dumb. Okay, got them all from the outside that time. I don't know why I couldn't loosen them that way. All right. All right, well, I got one of them. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to do Mr. Drive Shaft, and I can't see. There, that's better. Okay. Got these, right? Yeah, got those. Get Mr. Starter. Uh, right there. Right there. The wiring. And then we will drop it down and get the top bolts, and we're done. Now, see, I still didn't make that because the trans the trans cost like five hundred bucks, right? And I think I was only going to get, um, that's it, right? Loose bolts? Where? Your face is a loose bolt. <laughs> 
Probably when I was randomly clicking on crap it. Oh, got something. When I was randomly clicking on crap it, probably uh, loosened something in here. Oh, there's one right there too. Look at that. Okay. All right. Yep. I'll get. I'll. I'll. I'll accept that. Sure. Now where are we at? <sighs> there's still one somewhere. All right, I'm going to friggin' t click on... Oh, right there, look at that. Man, how did I get that one? There we go, there we go. All right, so I still made a thousand bucks off of that. That's not bad. Not bad money. Let's see what else we can do. See, I really want to, like, put this sign, like, right here on a lift. But sometimes, uh, the game doesn't like it. Let me try. Of course, then it's going to be like, it's going to be right in the freaking way when I try to work on the car. So let's see if, let's see if that works. A new air filter. No, I'm not doing that. Car is not moving. All right, we'll take that job. $142? What? That barely seems like worth my time here. Um, Maybe I can fix this one without even... Let's see here. What could it be? Um, car is not moving. It can mean a lot of things. Does it even run? All right, it runs. Okay, that part works. Yep, she ain't moving. <laughs> okay. Well, what's broken? Like, if that's a clutch job, then... Uh, there is no way I can make any money off of that. Um, like, what the hell else could it be? Oh, too far. No, that's about right. Sure, I'm just going to lift her up right now, the way it is. Alright, what do we got here? Um, the rear end looks fine. Uh, drive shaft is fine. It's got to be the clutch. They seriously want me to do a clutch job for 140 bucks? What kind of drugs are they on here? I mean, I, I gotta... I, I'm, I'm curious now. I gotta find out. Also, you know what? I hate not being able to see. Let me, um... Bonk. 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 There we go. Loosen. Uh, nope. Loosen that and that. Let's see, I think that's all of those. Ah. Okay, Mr. Starter. And I think there's, what, one more... One more bell housing bolt, probably. We can do these jobs without the lift, but it's it's a it's a butt sometimes. All right. Those are all... Ugh, those are all off. There you are. That'll get her. Plop. All right. Um. 
back up we go. So I think the game uses kind of a uh, like a very simplified. Yeah, look at that. The clutch is toast. So they want me to do a clutch drop for 120 bucks. There ain't no way. <laughs> um, what is this? A lot of convertible. Like they just do about based on the value of the the part, right? Uh, not an i6. Uh, engine. Clutch plate. 43 bucks. And see, that's another thing, too. Like, there is no shop in the entire world that would just replace a clutch disc on a car and not replace at least the pressure plate and the um, throwout bearing and stuff, and more than likely, probably the flywheel as well. Like, yes, you can just replace the clutch plate, and I know that, like, if you have some kind of weird ancient car or some weird thing that's not normal, like, you can just replace the clutch plate because you can't get the other parts or whatever, which I get that. But for a regular car that, you know, a regular person's going to drive, yeah, they're going to do the whole job. <laughs> and also the rear main seal, too, while you're in there, right? So, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous to, um, to just do a clutch plate and not do, and just charge, like, such a small amount of money for it, you know? That just doesn't make sense. That's okay. Just a, a minor criticism. It's just, a, it, you know, if you're not in the know of, like, how... <sighs> Where's freaking loose bolts now? Oh, the drive shaft. The drive shaft. Yes. Okay. Yeah, for those that aren't in the know of, like, doing car work or whatever, <clears throat> that kind of stuff doesn't really make a lot of sense in this game. Yeah, I literally didn't bolt the entire transmission in. That's that's not not ideal. All right. <sighs> Whatever, seven bucks. I don't care. I don't know what bolt it was, but it doesn't matter. So there you go. You can do jobs like that in this game, but it's generally not worth it. I'm gonna move this again. See if I can get it lined up a little bit better on that. I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna have to move that next time I get this thing out of here. That's okay. We'll do another job here and get some more money. Hoses near radiator. Look, yeah, I'm not doing that. Paint for 120 bucks? No. 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 Rust. Yes. Give me that. Holy crap! 1100 bucks. That's because it's one of these stupid things. All right. Um, and I love that. It's like you can't see any rust on the entire car. <laughs> there it is right there. There's some. And I see some over there. That can't be it, though. There is no way that's it. I probably have to pull these trims off. Yoink. Hopefully they don't fall through the world. Wow, man. There's got to be more than that. There is no way that this job is going to pay me that much money for that. There's two little tiny spots of rust. Dude. I always forget you can somebody told you you can't throw customer parts away until the job is done. That totally makes sense. I always forget though. 
I'm like, yo, I threw you away. All right, let's grab Mr. Sandblaster. This will make quick work of this job. Zap. And... Zap. Oh, God. Don't... No. Oh, God. Okay. Huh? Dude, if that's all the rust, this is like, <laughs> this is like the biggest gravy job ever. Except for that one where I didn't have to do anything. It just, it just turned in the job <laughs> after, after the car showed up. That was awesome. Okay, the rust is good. So 596F7A. 596F7A. Bonk. Give me one of those. All right. No oh, wait. Jump. 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 There we go. Okay. All right. Pop these trims back on. Job done? No. Look at that. Where's the... See? This is a... Uh... Yeah, this is when things get, get a little bit sketchy. Because I don't see any more rust on this car. Uh, there's none here. Um, there's none there. Rockers are clean. Uh, doors look clean. Unless there's some behind this trim right here. Uh, let's pop it off and look. Um, I can't. <laughs> okay. Seriously? Oh, there we go. I guess I just needed to wait a couple of minutes. <laughs> like, I've, I've seen it before, like, where you have to wait, like, you know, 10 seconds after you finish the job, but to have to wait, like, a minute or two, that was kind of weird. But I, would, I mean, what would you rather do? Would you rather do that clutch job that I just did, or would you rather do that, where you had to literally nick, like, two little spots of rust? That's... Yeah. Can't start, can't start. Windshield is not cleaning. Oh, that sounds boring. Ooh, paint job. Give me. Okay, fine. Shifting. Uh, see, you're not doing that. Uh, overheating. Charging, clunking. Fuel line. Steering. Can't start. Uh, hundred and twenty bucks. No. Rust and repaint. Eight hundred bones. Yeah, look at all the friggin' rust on this thing. And this is only eight hundred bucks, not like a thousand, like that other job. Dang. Like, yeah, sir, I'm sorry, but your door is completely boned. <laughs> I'm not fixing that. I'm throwing it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this the right way. God, look at that. Wow. Mr. Sandblaster is going to definitely get, get his earnest keep today. Uh... Damn. 
Oh, did I get that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Close that and blast this. I get it. Think I got it. Is there any more on the other side? I didn't even look at the other side yet. Okay, I think that. Oh nope, there's some on the fender there. Look at that. Okay. We'll uh, get around over here and bonk. I think that got it. I thought I saw someone in that door right there too, but I think it's just a Yeah, it's just a little glitch. Graphical glitch there. That's cool. There's some right there too. Look at that. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. Oh, that would have screwed me. <laughs> There's some over here too. Damn. This would just be like a full on body off restoration here at this point. This is like a this is like a uh like a Jeep Wrangler from the from the nineties. <laughs> Just throw it all away and start over again. <laughs> Alright, where are we at with the rust now? Rust is good. Alright, 189 B9D. One eight nine and B9D. As I say, that was very similar to the other color I just had, but just enough different. All right, can I do this in one can? Okay, uh, that part. I do in the door here. Itchy nose. Ah, okay. Stand up. Uh, that looks good to me. Wait, what was that? Is that rust? No, not rust. Okay. Color's good. Okay, let's uh, stick this here panel back on it and send it down the road. There we go. Are you happy? Looks good to me. Well, it's not happy. And again, if the color and the rust condition are all fine, then why? So there we go. I had to wait longer. I've been having to wait longer on these jobs, and I don't really know why it does that. That's curiouser. Here, let's move these out of the way, because it, they're just going to cause problems. There we go. All right, let's do uh, let's do one more good good paying job. So we got some money for the next episode here. Rust and repaint. Well, yes, I will take that job. 1,200 bones. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's another, uh, another Jesse. Well, this one's got a little more rust on her. Yes. Hmm, quite. Let's see here. Thing over here. Oh, it looks good. It looks like it's all just back here. There really isn't that much. I don't even think I need to take the trims off or anything. Okay, cool. I can do that. Yeah, this sandblaster is mint. Makes uh makes the whole world easier. 
Let's see, is there any inside inside the cab here? No, there's none of the. I don't even have to like do any of the difficult bits on this. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything else. Um, okay. Rust is good. Dude, pick it up. Oh my god, just, just, just put things where they freaking belong. Okay. <laughs> 2C5DEC. 2C5 D E C. Looks blue to me. Now, this is going to be a little bit trickier here. Doesn't want to go in those, uh, in those crevices <laughs> quite as well as it should. That's okay. We'll get them. Yes, that looks good. What about these spots? Uh, how am I going to do with that? Oh, no. Parts on the tailgate, too. Whoops. Here, let me get... Um, I don't need a sandblaster for that. We can just use... Just use this guy. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's gone. That's weird that it said the rust condition was good, even though there was still some more back there. Probably would have been enough to not let me finish the job either, knowing how this game works. All right. You get those little spots in there. Oh, man. All right. Huh? Oh, try to jump. Oh my god, just jump. There we go. Okay. Looks like I got it. Well, that's all the paint. All right, are you happy? Looks good to me. Yep, here we go again. So, so I guess you just have to at least check the menu once and then close it out and then do it again. Very strange. All right, well, I think I am going to end this episode here. Uh, we got a lot done today. Did a shakedown run and a, an actual race with this thing, even though I couldn't actually complete the race. For some reason, I'll have to investigate that. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong or, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just happy I didn't crash it. I almost did, but I didn't crash it. Um, it's not nearly as fast as I would like it to be. At least it, uh, it handles funny. It bounces around a lot. And I think that's probably just the, oh, look at that. There's all that dirt on the inside. I think it's just the nature of the game. Like, you know, everybody knows the driving physics to this game aren't great. So I'm not going to complain too much. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of races to do still. So, yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Um, you know, I've got two, uh, two channel members already. So I'm going to work on, um, getting the shout outs at the, at the end of the videos, um, for those people. I'm super appreciative of that. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're interested in joining them, um, feel free. Uh, and I'll hopefully have uh, some more perks and some custom emojis and stuff here before too much longer. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, um, if you don't want to be a channel member, that's fine, too. Um, but, you know, like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, share with your friends if you would like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.